Akira, it's finally feeling real. It's sinking in. I'm so excited for the first episode. Yeah, sure, me too. Okay. Um, I thought I thought you might be a little bit more pumped to be doing this thing with me. Oh yeah, no, I am. It's just that I had to turn down some pretty competitive offers to be here. Okay, like like what? Like the White House wanted me to be press secretary, but you have to stand the whole time for that, so. <laughs> well, get comfy because we're going to bring out our first guest. Here to talk to you about the perils of dating at Princeton is that girl who hangs out way too much in your hall bathroom, Minerva Sparks. Thank you for, for having me here today. Uh, it's our pleasure. So as you know, dating on this campus is a real struggle, and in recent years, ghosting has become a bigger and bigger issue. Yes. And that's what I'm here to talk to you all about this evening. Mm, word up, my nerves. Ghosting is a very specific issue to our time. Kids these days just think they can stop responding and suddenly disappear. But then the person on receiving end doesn't get any closure. And it's especially hard on this campus. When someone ghosts you, you end up bumping into them everywhere. Oh, yes, yes. Here on campus, I see my ghost everywhere I turn. <laughs> Do you feel comfortable sharing your experience with ghosting with us? <laughs> For me, I was at a spear pregame on the battlefield in late August when I saw my ghost from across the way emerging from the shrubberies. He still had his red coat on, bayonet in hand. Oh, so it was like a theme party. I locked eyes with him and that was the beginning of the end. My ghost has been haunting me ever since. You Sometimes in the dining hall, I feel his presence. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Like, at least have the decency to acknowledge me when we both grab bananas for the road. <laughs> he sends me all these weird mixed messages saying that I can meet him at Blair Arch when the clock strikes midnight, but then when I get there and I'm standing there all alone, he taunts me, whooshes past me, just howling in the wind. I hate the bikers on this campus. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be brushing my teeth and I'll see him in the mirror you know, just for a fleeting moment and then I turn around and he's gone. Wait, you run into the guy who ghosts you that much? <laughs> you said he's in Spear? Uh, yes, duh, Allison. All the Spear kids live in the pink house. Where have you been? <laughs> Two of the posters in my room were rearranged without me doing anything. Yeah, he just wanted me to know that he has the power over me, but I can see right through him. Yes, girl. To the wall behind him. That's an odd way of putting that. Um, so you keep bumping into the guy who goes to you on campus. Should you confront him or what? Asking for a friend. Oof. That's a tough one. You know, for some, just seeing your ghost in person is enough to give you the closure and let you know that you're not crazy. They do, in fact, exist. But others might want to go one step farther and actually hunt the ghost. All Hallows Eve from the 31st will be the perfect opportunity for this. Wait, back up. Did you say hunt? <laughs> Allison, are you telling me that you don't hunt down all the douches that mess with your best girlfriends and lock them in the walk-in freezer at Wilson? What is being a good friend actually mean to you. <laughs> For this, I would suggest the candle method. Now you take a glass jar and you put a candle inside of it. The energy from the burning candle will attract the ghost, but the energy will also trap the ghost inside the jar. Now, once you have confirmed the ghost's presence inside the jar, tightly reseal the lid. Now, for serious threats, I would suggest using a coffin, sealing it tightly, and burying it underneath the construction site on the floor sea of Firestone. <laughs> Minerva, so you are literally being haunted by a ghost. <laughs> that, that's what you asked me to come here to talk about, right? Ghosting, the act of being haunted by a ghost. Ghosting, a problem that every Princeton student faces. No, every Princeton student does not face that. It's not a common problem at all. Yeah, there would have been a haiku about it in the NAS. <laughs> what? Guys, I, I, I actually prepared for this. I showed up at 6 p.m. and burned sage in all the dressing rooms. Do you know how expensive sage is at the Amish farmer's market? It's like, it's like $9 a pop. No, look, Minerva, ghosting, as it applies to most Princeton students, refers to someone suddenly and without reason stopping all communication with you. Hmm. Well, 
a little weird. I, I mean, are you positive you actually had a relationship with this person who ghosted you? Maybe, just maybe, it was all in your head. No, what we had was real that night. <laughs> I don't know, Allison. I mean, we have never seen a photo of him, and you did say that when you called him that one time, he was just static, and then he hung up. Oh, no. Textbook paranormal activity. <laughs> it looks like we're not talking about different things after all. I'll go get the candle in the jar. OK. Fine, what the hell? Minerva Sparks, everybody. <laughs> exciting to have a ghost. Like, someone chose to haunt me. I haunted a boy once. It really gets me in the Halloween spirit. Oh, that reminds me, my costume came in today. I gotta pick it up before the mail center closes. What are you going as? Sexy Jeff Nunakawa. 